now let us discuss about how to simplify boolean expressions which are in pos form with the help of a three variable karnoff map so three variable means maximum we will have 2 power 3 that is nothing but eight cells or eight squares so three variables left hand side represents a right hand side represents bc here the expressions are in pos form pos form means zero represents actual variable whereas one represents complement of the variable whereas if you take sum of product then zero represents complement of the variable one represents actual variable but here the process is reverse so here zero means zero means actual variable that is a so one means complement of the variable that is a bar so here the cells are 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 what is 0 0 actual variables b plus c next 0 1 means actual variable as well as complement of the variable b plus c bar 1 1 means complement of the variable b bar plus c bar 1 0 means complement of the variable as well as actual variable this cell represents 0 0 0 so that is nothing but 0th max term 0th max term this cell represents a plus b plus c if you take this cell third cell this cell represents 0 1 1 0 1 1 in decimal notation is 3 so this cell represents the max term 3 capital m represents max term 3 this cell represents a plus b bar plus c bar likewise if we consider this cell this cell represents 110 so 110 means in decimal notation is 6 so this cell represents sixth max term m6 this cell represents a bar plus b bar plus c uh, now let us solve these three problems so pi means product operation capital m means max term of 0 comma 1 comma 5 comma 7 here we have to write 0 for the corresponding max term so write 0 in the 0th max term next one this cell represents one so write zero here next this cell represents five so write zero here next this cell represents seven write zero here next we have to perform the grouping here the group should be in the form of powers of two so we can make these two adjacent cells as one group next we can make these two adjacent cells as one group and then there is no need to make these two adjacent cells as third group why because all the zeros are covered here our target should be the expression should contain minimum number of max terms where each max term should produce less number of literals so there is no need to make these two zeros as one group why because all the zeros are already covered uh, let us write the max term for this expression zero what is zero zero means a so this is max term max term means we need to perform our operation on the literals if we observe these two adjacent cells first zero is common what is first zero b zero represents actual variable so a plus b into if we consider these two cells uh, this cell represents one one means complement of the variable so a bar a bar plus if we observe these two cells uh, second one is common what is second one c so here one means complement of the variable so c bar c bar so this is the simplified expression for this problem now let us solve this problem already the mapping is done so zero cell uh, next second cell third cell sixth sixth cell and seventh cell already mapping is done here the expression is in pos form so we have to write zeros so what we can do here we can make these four cells as a group why because if the group contains more number of zeros then it should produce then it should produce less number of variables whereas if the group contains only two zeros then that group will produce more number of variables okay if you observe here a value is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider a if you observe these two cells one is common first one is common what is first one b so one means here complement of the variable so b bar b bar b bar into b bar into product of sum okay uh, next we can make these two cells as one group why because if you observe these two cells 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 these two are adjacent cells 
Why? Because they differ by only one variable. So we can make these two cells as one group. Uh, here zero. Zero means actual variable. So A plus. If we observe these two cells, zero zero one zero. B changing from zero to one. So there is no need to consider B. Where C is common. C is zero. So zero means actual variable. So B bar into A plus C. So this is the expression. Now let us solve the problem. Let us solve the last one. We can make these four cells as one group. A is changing from zero to one. So there is no need to consider A. If we observe these two cells, zero 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 one. C changing from zero to one. So there is no need to consider C. Whereas the first value is common zero. Zero means B. B here in POS. What is zero actual variable? So P into. So what we can do? We have to cover this zero. So the only way is we have to mix these two cells as a group. Why? Because if the group contain only one cell, it should produce more number of literals. Whereas if the group contains two ones, then it should produce less number of literals than if the group contain one literal. Yeah, here if we observe this group, a value is one. So one means complement of the variable. So a bar plus a bar plus. If we observe these two cells, second one is common. What is second one? C value. So one means one means complement of the variable. Next we have to cover this one, this zero. So we we need to make These two cells as one group. Here a value is zero. A value is zero means actual variable. A plus. Whereas if we observe these two cells, second zero is common. What is second zero? C. So this is the simplified expression for this problem. So likewise we can solve any problem. In the next video we will discuss how we can simplify the expressions which are in POS form with the help of four variable K map.